645 right now and eight of the big school districts in Central Texas are starting classes this week, mm -hmm. which means there are going to be thousands of students riding the bus in 100 degree heat. Yeah, so it got us wondering which school districts use air conditioned buses, parents, and which ones, maybe most importantly, do not. We're going to break it down by district in just the next few minutes. But first, Chris is here because, Chris, you know that all of Leander ISD buses will be air conditioned this year. This is good news. Yeah, absolutely. This comes after parents were complaining last year to the Board of Trustees that their kids buses didn't have a seat. You might remember images like this students getting off the bus with red faces drenched in sweat and chugging water like that uh, little girl is. The district says that's not going to happen anymore. After nearly a decade climbing onto Leander ISD buses, this is a new sound for Terry Williams. Low, medium or high pressure. He's a trainer and a driver for the district, and he's learned to take the heat. For me, it's, it's packing extra changes of clothes, sometimes two to three changes of clothes a day. But no more. With grant and bond money, Leander ISD bought 50 new buses and retrofitted more than 60 others. That means every kid who rides a daily bus will have air conditioning. If we ever have a breakdown or special trips, those may not have AC because we still have buses in our fleet without AC, um, but the regular day to day buses will have AC. As those other buses age out of the fleet, they'll be replaced with air conditioned buses. It's a big improvement for kids and for drivers. When the kids are comfortable, they seem to be more at ease. William says drivers have left for other districts because of the AC issue. He thinks they'll be easier to keep now because he's noticed a change in students while driving for summer school. Now they're getting used to bringing blankets on the bus because it is, it is so cold, and, but they love it. They wouldn't take it any other way. So we didn't just check in with Leander ISD. We wanted to know about all of the school districts in our area. So over at Austin ISD, 57% of buses have air conditioning, including all of their new buses. AISD says it's not feasible or practical to upgrade the older buses. Uh, all buses with Del Valley, Eanes, Hayes, and Lake Travis do have AC. So do buses in Pflugerville and San Marcos in Maynard. All but seven buses have AC, and those remaining buses without it will be retrofitted this year. We are still waiting to hear back from a couple of districts. Uh, Round Rock, Bastrop, and Georgetown will be sure to update this story on the web as we hear from those districts. Yeah. Chris, what about the difference in the cost between the buses with air conditioning or to get air conditioning on those buses? Yeah, just like we see in our electric bills, yeah. AC <laughs> is not cheap. Austin ISD tells me it costs $8,500 per bus to buy one with oh. AC versus one without. But it's needed, you know, in this worth heat, it. Sean, Absolutely. for sure worth it. I mean, it's right. not so much getting the kids to class around this time. It's when you pick them up Absolutely. around 3 o'clock. Bastrop, Lake Travis starts school tomorrow, so what kind of temperatures can we expect well, around 3 p.m.? Slightly cooler than what we're going to experience today, which is good news, but still dangerous heat. They're still looking about 97 to 100 degrees by the 3 o'clock hour, so 